Graham Norton. And here he is in all his morning uh, glory. Oh, what? hello. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what? There's a big picture of me on the Oh, Dom Dominic's Sorry, a big fan, that. and that's his computer. <laughs> and I want you to know that it's just, that's the same picture every day. We don't change it, <laughs> depending on who the guest is. We certainly didn't have one of Christine Blakely when she was in yeah, the other week. Not at all. No. How are you, Graham? <laughs> yeah, I'm very well. Very well. Good. Uh, I'm a bit shell shocked. Uh, Why? Because well, I was up late last night. Because uh, we were, uh, did the twenty to ten cull of Dorothy's last oh, night. Oh, yes. right. So the shows have been uh, the Maria show. Any dream will do. Joseph. I do. I do anything. Mm. Nancy. And now it's the Wizard of Oz. This is brilliant. I can't wait until you, in a couple of years' time when you're looking for the new Luke Skywalker for the musical <laughs> version of Star Wars. <laughs> Look at my lightsaber. And now are they looking for a new dog? Do you know, I don't know. Right. Uh, no, no. The it's it, it's quite odd. The, the, apparently there's um, a, a central England location. Right. I don't know. What, is that a Why? euphemism for Birmingham? Why? I don't know. It, it means Birmingham or Nottingham or Leicester or <laughs> yeah. somewhere, doesn't it? But anyway, there, there's obviously a venue that doesn't mind a lot of, you know, dog poo. The NEC. Right. So, uh, is it the NEC? Well, it might be. Are they relaxed they've, about that sort of stuff? They've had a lot of crap there <laughs> over the years. <laughs> so, um, they, so the dogs go there, and then the uh, top ten are selected. And then, it, this is in the press release, it goes, um, those ten dogs are then invited to meet Android Weber. <laughs> like, oh. like they're going to turn it down. <laughs> Andrew, big fan. And yeah. do, do they all get their little doggy envelope? I can't forgive you for cats. I'm not coming. <laughs> <laughs> do they get their little doggy envelope and then read the invite? And go, oh, that's lovely. Oh, we're, we're I'm off, through. I'm we're through. We're off to a central England location. Yeah. You can imagine the director going, okay, look, lots of reaction shots, lots of reaction shots. <laughs> Many tears. Yeah. And they, they all get a plus one invite so they can bring their owners. <laughs> How are your dogs? Well, they're relaxing now. In fact, I left Radio One on in the kitchen. Good, 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 treats. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> they're now going mental. That's cruel. Cool. <laughs> you know we're going to clip that now, and every so often we're just going to play it on the air. On the off chance you got the radio on, your dogs go. Or ah! <laughs> they hear your voice, look at you, and go, "This is weird." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What treats? <laughs> Um, uh, they're very you got, well. You've got two dogs. I've got an enormous uh, a dog that looks like a man in a suit. It's a Labradoodle uh, called Bailey. And then I've got a little scrappy terrier called Madge. Course. Bailey and Madge. Do it. Good, 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 do it. Treats. They are. <laughs> they're ripping your kitchen to pieces. Do it. Good, 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 do it. Treats. That's it. Is Madge named... Where are the bloody treats? <laughs> is Madge named after Madge Bishop from Neighbours? No, Madge is a rescue dog. And uh, at, the, at the rescue place, they'd called her Madonna. Ah. And I thought, well, I can't have a dog called Madonna. Not, unless I change Bailey's name yeah. to Elton. Um, oh, you... that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Elton, <laughs> Madonna! Madonna. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Madonna's peed in the dining room again. <laughs> but hang on a second. Which one? Well, Elton would have to be the little one, obviously. And Madonna would have to be the big, strong, butch one. <laughs> <laughs> but it just didn't work, so I changed it to Madge. <laughs> Um, the judges on the show are Charlotte Church. The beautiful Charlotte Church. She looks amazing, by the way. She looks amazing. The first time I ever met Charlotte Church, well, I didn't. The first time I ever saw Charlotte Church, we were, this is years ago, we were flying to L.A., me and two mates, for a bit of a holiday. And in the lounge, there was like, a, <laughs> there was a... <laughs> what? Just love a guy. man of the people. <laughs> we were in the first you, class lounge. You didn't have to put the word lounge into it. We were just lounge. waiting. We were waiting to board the flight. I oh, know we got we got bumped up. We got a, right. we got yeah. a free upgrade. <laughs> we were meant to be get, they were meant to be bumping up to premium economy, and we went to the desk. They actually said, "On my life, they went. We're really sorry. We can't upgrade you to premium economy. What is it? Any chance? Would you possibly mind if we put you in in first class?" To which my friend went, oh, "For God's sake." <laughs> <laughs> well, if it helps you, fine. But I'm, but only this one time. And the person behind the counter actually said, "Thank you." Do you know, this is a very quick. <laughs> this is a horrible story. It's very, very quick. I was on a on a flight. And I was in premium economy, and they came to me, and they were, and this, I had already done any telly, and they came up to me and said, "Oh, are you, um, uh, Graham Norton?" I said, "Yes." Oh, uh, would you like to follow me? Ooh. And uh, I went, "Oh, should I bring my bag?" Oh, yes, bring your bag. So I take my bag, I look at the other scum in premium economy, and uh, and I, I go up to upper class, and I'm settling in my seat, and I'm just opening the goodie bag into the toiletries, yeah, yeah. it's lovely. And they literally, they come up to me and go, 
terribly sorry. There's been uh, somebody's uh, late. Somebody's late. Oh. Oh. I know. So I had to pack up my no. bag. No. <laughs> I go back to bring the economy. And they were all looking at me like, ha, ha, ha. That's horrid. <laughs> Do you know, it's the only letter of complaint I've ever written. Because <laughs> I guess, well, I didn't ask for this humiliation. Mm. You came to me. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> At Charlotte Church, you were telling me a story. Oh, do you know what? It oh, okay. doesn't matter. <laughs> she, she flies first class too, is the point. Yeah, that was the story. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was just showing she, off. She's, she's as rich as me. <laughs> she's as rich as me. Yeah, she was sat really near me. Oh, I tell you what, you wouldn't mind being a pound behind her, would you? <laughs> I saw Graham in Cape Town getting searched in customs, suitcase contents all over the place. He wasn't happy, but very funny, says Sharon in Scarborough. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> 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 Treats. <laughs> she was in premium economy. No. No. <laughs> yeah, here's one. I saw Graham Norton when I was, uh, got a flight years ago. I was sitting in first and he was just walking away <laughs> looking really upset back to premium economy. <laughs> Um, Graham, lovely to see you. Very nice to see you. And, um, and, and I forgot to say on air oh. uh, how very, very svelte and lovely all the team are looking. Well, thank you very much, thank Graham. And, and, and back at you. Yeah, well, back, that's, back nice, at you. That's nice of you. Mm -hmm. You look very, very well. No, I don't. You do, you do look very well. You do. I look like death. You don't look like death. <laughs> you have a good colour. Over the Rainbow starts uh, Friday night, 9 o'clock. <laughs> of all the compliments. <laughs> you, um... You have a good colour. <laughs> it's like a combination. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was like, I can't even, no hair, no, no eyes, no teeth. I was hoping no you'd reveal colour. whether it was a holiday or whether it was fake, but you didn't, so that's fine. It's a it mix of booze and Saint Tropez. <laughs> <laughs> a heady mix. Say hello to Bailey and Madge for us, and I hope that they haven't ripped your kitchen to pieces. It's going to be... Bedlam. Oh, do, 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 do. Treats! Don't, don't. It's going to be bedlam when I get home. And it if you be... see Graham in the park with the dogs, if you see him walking down the street, if you see him being slung out of a bar at about quarter past one in the morning, feel free to put a <laughs> smile on his face by just walking up to him and going, Hey, Graham. <laughs> Treats. Oh, how, I'll, how I love, yeah, love that. I'll oh. really love it. Mm. You can download it within the hour. We're working on it now. So you can just play it back at Graham. There you go. <laughs> That's great. And if you work with Graham and he leaves his mobile <laughs> in the office and he pops out for lunch, feel free to change his ringtone. <laughs> so as he's sitting there, his own phone rings and he hears oh, do, 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 do. Treats coming out of his pocket. <laughs> How brilliant would that be? Yeah. How brilliant. You're sitting, you're sitting in a meeting. You and Andrew Lloyd Webber <laughs> having lunch at the Ivy. Well, and I and I and I said, I I, I said to him, <laughs> so Andrew, I said, oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, one second. So that's my that's my. <laughs> Andrew, that, what is that? What is that noise? That's very clever, Chris. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Graham's doing that fake laugh now where he's like, yes, okay, Enough seriously, now stop it. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, stop yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You don't know how expensive my sofa is, and now it's been ripped to shreds as they look for treats. And the cab has been waiting for 12 minutes. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Graham Norton.